Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Photoshop action to correct color cast. So let's get into this. Um, I'm going to open up this raw image. And I'm just going to use the default settings on my raw, so I'm not even going to make changes. So, but you can see this image is, has kind of a an orange tint to it. So we're actually we're going to fix that with this action. We're going to open this. So I'm going to run this action and I'm just going to show you what it does. So hit play. So it's asking click on color and then select the highlight skin tone using the color picker. Hit OK. So continue. So I'm just going to follow the instructions. So hit color. And then now we select, you can select the highlight area on the skin. Hit OK. And then OK again. And the next dialog that comes up is click on color and then select the shadow skin tone using the color picker. Hit OK. Continue. Again, hit color. And then we'll select a shadow area of her skin. Hit OK. And hit OK. And then it's just saying you can adjust the opacity of the group or you can actually do them individually. And hit continue. So now we have this folder right here called color cast. And if we open this up, you'll have our shadows and our highlights. So and you can actually adjust the opacity of each individual layer and it'll affect the highlights or shadows. And then you can also adjust the opacity of the entire group. So if we go down to zero, this is our original image. And then if we go back to 100, that's with the action applied. And you can actually adjust the strength of the action. So if I want to go 70%, I can do that as well. So let's get into um, actually building this action. So let's go back to my history, go to my original image. So I'm going to create a new action. So we go to our actions panel and then create new. And we're just going to call this test. Hit record. So the first thing we need to do is create a new layer. So shift alt command N, create a new layer. And then we're just going to stamp the visible. So shift alt command E. And then we're going to create a new layer. So shift alt command N. And then we're going to hit um, Shift-Delete, and that's going to bring up our fill. And for this, we want to select color, hit OK. Now we want to select the highlights area of our skin. So we're going to hit Select Highlight, and hit OK then hit OK again. And then now we're going to inverse this layer. So we're taking basically taking the highlight color and just finding the inverse of it. So I'll hit Command I to inverse. And then now we're going to double click on this layer. And then we'll change the blend mode to color. And then now we're going to bring our underlying layer. We're actually this action is for the highlights. So what we want to do is we want we want to clip the shadows because the shadows we're going to be doing on a separate layer. So to do that, um, we go to the down here to blend if go to our underlying layer, and we're going to bring this over to the right. So what this does is it only applies the transit the uh, effect on the highlight layer. So, and then we can actually smooth this out by hitting Alt and then dragging the slider across. 
And right now this doesn't look good, but what we do is we adjust the opacity. Generally I like doing between like 10 and 15%, so I'm just gonna do 12%, and then hit OK. Okay, so we have our highlight complete, so now we have to just do the same thing, but on the shadow side. So create a new layer, so Shift Alt Command N, and then we're going to go Shift Delete, and we're going to fill this layer with the shadow color. So we're going to do Select Color, and then we're going to select the high, the uh, shadow portion of her skin, and then I'll hit OK, OK again. And then same thing as before, control I to inverse this. And then we're gonna double click on here and change our blend mode to color. And this time we want to clip our highlights. So we're gonna bring the underlying layer slider over. So we're gonna bring our whites over. And then Alt click just to smooth that out and then we need to change the opacity so again I'm just going to use 12% and hit OK so next thing I want to do is I want to group these two layers together so what I can do is do shift alt and then my left bracket key and that'll bring me to select the two layers. And then I'm gonna do Control G to group these two together. And that should that should be it. So and I can hit stop to stop this. And then now we need to create dialog boxes. So what we want to happen is so we're gonna make our layer and then our Merger visible, make another layer, fill this layer. So on the fill, we want to actually create a dialog box, so we're going to select this. So what this does is when it gets to that that step of the action, it's actually going to bring up a dialog box and it's going to allow you to make the changes yourself. Also, I need to make a dialog box that comes up just letting you know, you know, what's the next step that you need to take. So we're going to select on make layer and I come down to this menu I'm going to go to insert stop so we're going to say um, let's say we're going to say let's say select color option and then use color picker to select your highlight color. Hit OK to continue. And looks like we're good. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna copy this text. And then we also want to allow continue. So OK. And then we're going to also come down to our next one. So we have to go to our other fill. Select this dialog toggle on the dialog. And then go to make layer. And then we're going to add another insert stop. I'm going to paste this text in. Um, and then I'm just going to change my highlight to shadow. Allow continue. OK. So if I go to history and I go back to my original image, go to my action, let's go to my test action, we're going to hit play. So here's our dialog box that comes up, hit continue. So hit color, then select your highlight, hit OK, OK. And then next our shadow should come up. 
like so. Continue, color, and then shadow. Okay, okay. I want to go back and actually add a step into this action, which I forgot to do. And that's actually going to be creating, just naming these layers. So I want to name this highlight and I want to name this shadow. So to do that, I need to actually, so the first one I'm going to do is like change my layer two to actually highlight. So I'm going to click on my layer two and you have to be clicked on, on your layer that you're going to be, you know, making the changes on. So if not, it's going to actually, so if you were on like layer three, and you want to go make this change for layer two, it would actually, I, I'll actually show you what it does. So what I want to do is I want to change layer two to highlight. So in that step of the process would be after this make layer. So if I go to record and then I click on my layer two, it's going to see, see how it says select layer two. So we don't want to do that. So. Uh, because you never, you actually never want to mention layer two in an action. Because if you have another layer in your in your layers called layers two, it's going to refer to that layer, and you don't, you do not want to do that. So I'm just going to, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to go back. I'm going to delete this. Okay, so I'm going to be selected on layer two. So I'm going to go back to my make layer, I'm going to record, and then now if I change this to highlight, hit OK, see how it says set current layer. So that's what we want, so we'll stop that, and then we'll go down to our other layer. So we're going to do this one, so select on layer 3, make layer, we're going to re hit record, and then just change this to shadow. And then stop. And then it should be good. And then I can also do this on my group one. We'll change this to um, we'll call this color cast. And then stop. Okay. And we should be good now. So let's go back to my history, go to the original, go to my action, test action, hit play. Okay, I'm going to select our highlight. Hit okay, okay. And then select our Shadow color, hit OK, OK. So there we go. So this is a really simple way to color correct your images. So I, I do this all the time for, for pretty much all of my images. So and I used to go in like just do this action manually, but since then I've created this action and I can literally just get color correct my images in like less than a minute. I hope this helped you guys. If you guys actually want to download this action, I'll include a link in the description so you can download that for free. And um, along with this action, you'll get other actions that I've developed. And you know, each week we send out a new action and you'll get that for free as well.